Welcome back to another video, everybody. Coach Matt coming at you. To start things off, the first thing I want to talk about is it snowed in Los Angeles. Let's get started in the video. Welcome back to the Daily Baseball Report. Coach Matt coming at you with another video. All we do here is bring you the best baseball news and baseball discussion. I want to provide the most up-to-date information to all of you about Major League Baseball and baseball news. And with that being said, we are on the road to 1K by opening day. And if you didn't know, we are exactly three weeks away, three weeks away from opening day. So please share this with everyone that you can. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and hit the like button. Just make it turn blue if you like baseball. If you like baseball, hit the blue light, hit the like button. One of the big stories is Jacob DeGrom, Jacob D. Dominant, that I had in this video here, is in freaking credible this guy is insanely good he pitched three innings he struck out seven batters his era is zero his major thing for the day was he was throwing it 102 miles per hour 102 consistently i love baseball I love baseball. On the other side of the ball, Zach Granke actually did pretty good, too. He threw three innings, gave up no runs. I think he gave up a couple of hits, and he had four strikeouts. Mike Trout, the best player on the planet, hit his first spring home run, and it was gorgeous. Just what a great, majestic blast this was. It's kind of nice seeing this guy finally get it going. Kind of like Ronald Acuna Jr., the, the angle that we get for this video wasn't very good for Acuna, but we'll get into that one a little bit later. But Mike's tr Mike Trout's home run, very nice. In the same game, Pujols went three for three with two doubles, and Otani had two hits, and he went two for three. Have any of you guys wondered where Fernando Tatis was? I've been asking around, like, where's Tatis? He didn't play. Where's Tatis? He didn't play. Turns out he's sick. He has a, a bug. That's being, uh, it is not the current illness that is going around that has literally stopped the, the continent, the entire world. They're confident it's not that, but he is supposed to make a return to the team Friday and play on Friday. If you remember the last time we saw Tatis, he hit a grand slam. So we hope that he gets better quick and that he doesn't have the illness. So... Without further ado, the San Diego Padres actually had Will Myers and Eric Hosmer both hit home runs. Joe Musgrove had a three-inning start and gave up two runs. Shane Bieber, on the other side of the ball, pitched for the Cleveland Indians. He only gave up one hit, one earned run, struck out five. Jock Peterson struck again. I'm so mad that the Dodgers didn't re-sign him, and I know the Dodgers have way over the luxury tax, they have way too many really great outfielders. Jock Peterson was kind of the odd man out. He hit two home runs today. He's now up to five. He's tied with Joey Gallo for the lead in spring training home runs. I know it doesn't mean a lot. It's spring training, but the guy's swing looks so good. Both home runs were, you know, easy, free and easy swings. He seems like he's relaxed. He's comfortable. Last year, he just wasn't comfortable. You could just tell. He just wasn't all that comfortable in the box. Yeah, he had a couple home runs in the postseason, but he definitely, from like he hit like a buck 80 the whole year. Like, couldn't hit water without of a boat kind of thing. He looks good right now. He looks like he's lost a little bit of weight. He looks like he's pretty athletic. He's made some pretty athletic plays in the outfield. Dang, it's just, I, as a Dodger fan, you know, I, I love to see him be successful, but for, an Amer for another National League team, and the Chicago Cubs ah, kind of hurts a little bit. To give you an idea of how good Jock Peterson is doing, he is hitting. He is hitting 529. Javi Baez is hitting 333. Javi Baez's OPS 1.035. Jock Peterson is 2.071. It's literally double. Javi Baez. It's double. He's producing at such a good rate. 
It's insane. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. and George Springer both hit their first home run of the spring for the Toronto Blue Jays. Tanner Rourke pitched for the Blue Jays. He threw three innings, gave up one hit, had three strikeouts, zero ERA, and Kirby Yates also pitched. He had a one inning. He actually gave up two hits, but he did not give up a run. Ivan Nova actually improved his stat line with the Phillies with a four inning, two run, two earned run, one walk, three strikeout event yesterday. But that's for him, that's an improvement considering where he was a couple of weeks ago. So he's actually on the right track, which is a good thing, but he was playing the New York Yankees. I feel like the Yankees and Phillies are playing every single day. Is that just me? Aaron Hicks hit a home run for the Yankees and Garrett Cole pitched. He pitched three innings. He had three hits, one run, five strikeouts, and his ERA is now 3.5. Moving on to Ronald Acuna Jr. He was hitting 061 entering the game. He had a two for three event, had a home run, and he raised his average to 167. So the beauty of spring training and the early parts of any regular season is that the, the batting average will jump all over the place. But I've been asking for this guy to start going for about a week now, and he's finally hitting. Tyler Glasnow pitched for the Rays. He pitched four innings. He gave up one hit, one walk, struck out seven. His ERA is now down to 3.18. So Glasnow it seems to have dialed it in. Remember in the postseason, he walked people and he didn't have an out pitch. And here he's got one walk and he has seven strikeouts. So I see that he's already made some adjustments from last season to this season. Marwin Gonzalez hit two home runs today, but he did it the cool way where he had one from the left side and one from the right side. Marwin Gonzalez hit two home runs today and he did it the cool way. He hit one from each side of the plate, one from the left side and one from the right side. Super awesome. You don't see this all that often anymore. Love it. Trevor Bauer made his start for the LA Dodgers and it wasn't pretty. He pitched two innings. He walked four. He walked in a run. One run. He did strike out three. Offensive side, Corey Seager continues to be Corey Seager and he walked and hit a home run, a two run home run uh, in the tie against the Seattle Mariners. For the Kansas City Royals, Salvador, Salvador Perez hit a big home run for the Kansas City Royals. Mike Miner pitched and it wasn't the best start, but wasn't the worst start. He had a three inning start, had a couple of hits, gave up two runs. One of them was earned. He had three strikeouts. The ERA is now 1.8, but I think the Royals are a dark horse, especially with Soler and Miner and Ben and and Bobby Witt Jr. I just feel that they're going to be pretty good. Speaking of Bobby Witt, he got one hit that day. I feel like it's going to be a good, a good year for the Royals. Well, that does it for today's video. I was trying to keep it a bit quicker today. I was very much trying to do it faster today. I know some of my videos have been like 15, 16, 17, 18 minutes long. I'm trying to get it down. I promise I am trying. So I'm trying to cut out some of the smaller things. When we get to the real uh, coverage during the regular season, I'm going to go into each game. So it's going to be a pretty longer video. So, but during spring training, I'm trying to keep it a little bit shorter and uh, hone in the craft. For all those that do follow me, please let everyone know Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to go live and I would love for all of you to join. I want to have a great discussion about baseball and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, uh, put the notification bell on because we know you don't want to miss any of this information. And without further ado, oh, hat reference. I haven't talked about my hat yet. Before we finish the video, this hat is Goal Line Performance. It's an El Segundo. It's a strength conditioning facility. I worked there for a little bit. Uh, Velocity Sport Performance is on the inside and the performance side. And Goal Line Performance is the off-ice hockey training side. Uh, for those of you who may not know, I used to work in uh, pro hockey and uh, in the hockey community. So just one of those things I just very much love having the the dynamic of both hockey and baseball as uh, my two favorite sports without a doubt i'm wearing this hat because it snowed in los angeles today and i figured it was fitting that if it snows in los angeles you wear the hockey hat so there's your hockey reference for the day without further ado see you.